Quercetin is panning out to be an amazing substance, kind of like the Swiss Army knife of plant compounds. Already, it is well known for its effect in reference to histamines, mast cells, so on and so forth. But in this case, we're looking at kind of like a cellular detox, especially in reference to accumulation of protein aggregates. Now, this yields tremendous potential, not just in reference to helping heal damage in other parts of the body, but also well too is healthy aging on top of that. Now, the outcome here in all respect to the researchers is really geared towards liver damage and potentially in correlation with Alzheimer's, even though they do touch on other conditions as well, which we'll get into a second. But it is just literally like the Swiss Army knife for plant compounds. So without further ado, let us proceed. First, I want to show you the full study trial. Trial. Title. Quercetin in tartar buckwheat induces autophagy against protein aggregation. Because that gives you a little more detail because a lot of people here are going to be familiar with quercetin as opposed to tartary buckwheat, which is used in a lot of traditional medicine compounds, both Japanese and Chinese, but in other uh, cultures as well. But to proceed as follows into the public release, the good herb, buckwheat liquor, helps cells clean house. See, now you add a different dimension to quercetin. Quercetin, 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 where basically you're calling it a cellular, de cellular debris cleanser. A cleanser of a different light, not necessarily one that's intestinal and so on and so forth, but literally one that clears out cellular debris to proceed as follows. Researcher from Osaka University find that curated component, the tartary buckwheat extract promotes the de degradation of harmful protein aggregates in cells. Proceed down the public release to go. To explore this possibility, the researchers treated epithelial skin cells and liver cells with tartary buckwheat extract and looked at how different fluorescent markers and autophagy responded. The results clearly showed that tartary buckwheat induces autophagy in epithelial cells, stated the lead researcher. Quote, we found that treating cells with the extract stimulated the formation of autophagosomes. I think that's supposed to be phagosomes with an O as opposed to an A right before the S. And that could be incorrect. Phagosomes specialized cellular structures that carry out autophagy and alter the location of proteins involved in regulator, regulating autophagy. Little detail, but again, it's all going to come together in a second to proceed. When the researchers looked more closely at specific components of tartary buckwheat extract, they found one component, quercetin, had the same effects as the extract. What's more, both tartary buckwheat extract and quercetin prompted liver cells to clean up protein aggregates through a process known as agrophagy. Now, here's the catch. Tartary buckwheat, people go, wow, it's very high in rutin. So where are they getting tartary buckwheat rutin to tartary buckwheat quercetin? We're going to delve into that in a second, but to proceed. Our findings suggest that tartary buckwheat extract and quercetin induce not only autophagy, but also agrophagy, agrophy, uh, according to the researcher. Given that protein aggregates in liver cells are closely linked to alcoholic liver disease, these findings suggest that quercetin could be a useful treatment for patients with this condition. It may also hold promise for treatment of other diseases associated with protein aggregation, such as Alzheimer's. We want to touch on a few more in a second. But why not rutin? To proceed, quercetin is responsible for the tartary buckwheat effect on autophagy induction. Now we're going into the full study. Rutin is a flavonoid that occurs at much higher concentrations in tartary buckwheat than in common buckwheat. We examined, quoting, whether rutin could induce autophagy, but it did not, even at high concentrations. Rutin consists of the flavonol quercetin and the disaccharide rutinose. As previous reports showed, the tartar buckwheat effect includes a highly active rutin degrading enzyme. And as a result, rutin is promptly degraded into quercetin and aqueous extraction. That is the reason why. Now, the other aspects, as far as reference to diabetes, bone marrow, disgeneration, retinal pigment, and traumatic injury as well. Uh, they're looking at basically as far as protein aggregation and clearing out protein aggregates. But let us proceed and not 
delve too far beyond an ad publisher bias, uh, basically the desired outcome, or the reported outcome, I should say, of the full study itself. Quote, in the liver, the pathogenesis of alcoholic hepatitis is closely linked to the accumulation of protein aggregates called malaroid dunk bodies. And the clearance of these aggregates could potentially alleviate hepatitis. Now, which is interesting, too, because if you go look at Kirksetin, and historically, you'll see it's also been researched in reference to hepatitis itself. But now, we elucidate potentially the biological function of Kirksetin as to why it seems to be helpful. But to proceed, in addition, protein aggregates in the liver provoke tumor genesis. And agrophagy is capable of clearing these proteins. Kirksetin is linked to alcoholic or alcohol induced liver injury because it enhances autophagy against mitochondria mitophagy and lipid droplets lipof 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 lipophagy now keep in mind the wording of that is not exactly ideal but it helps let's put it that way to proceed combined with these effects the ability of tartary buckwheat extract to enhance agrophagy agrophagy could potentially prevent these diseases quoting unquote future research to clarify this possibility is needed especially using animal models and of course animal models eventually lead to human trials which eventually hopefully can yield a tremendously wonderful beneficial plant compound to help in mitigation of these ailments that besides just having to worry about side effects actually has a tremendous slew of side benefits so again when thinking about detoxing, cleansing, healthy aging, so on and so forth, autophagy, clearing out these protein aggregates, or you just say cellular debris, and hopefully, like bad oil or whatever it is that tends to accumulate in the body by clearing out this debris, it helps the body operate more efficiently and helps forth, leads to a healthier, happier life. Again, gratitude to the researchers, wonderful job uh tartary buckwheat i never knew before but now i understand more about kirsten itself and without them obviously i couldn't present you the research so still grateful humble and as well as always for the long goodbye i am humble for you watching and look forward to see you all once again next week right to you next time bye